Chief Justice Martha Kome has accused the executive arm of government of attempting to erode the independence of the judiciary. And speaking when she presided over the handover ceremony for outgoing Chief Registrar of the Judiciary, Anne Amadi, Kome challenged the executive to produce evidence on allegations it raised against unnamed judicial officers over court orders that halted government projects. Kome says that the Judicial Service Commission is ready to process any complaints. Ayub Abikadir reports. The very same auditorium where she and other judges of the Supreme Court unanimously upheld President William Ruto's victory provided Chief Justice Martha Kome with a platform to answer President William Ruto and Kenya Kwanzaa leaders disgruntled by court orders that have stopped pet government projects. In what is a direct response to the head of state, who has sustained an all-out war on the judiciary since the year began. The Chief Justice called on the President and Kenya Kwanzaa leaders to direct their complaints to the mandated constitutional body for processing. We are ready to process any complaints against any judge or judicial officer who is implicated in corruption or in any other acts of misconduct. However, such complaints must be launched and processed in the manner prescribed by the Constitution. Days are gone when officers were hounded, judges, judicial officers were hounded out of office through name calling and naming. A firm Kome who spoke for the first time since the barrage of attacks was directed the way of the judiciary added that the Judicial Service Commission, which she chairs, has the capacity to process all complaints against judicial officials. The Judicial Service Commission, which is the body mandated by the Constitution to deal with matters of complaints, will only act on the basis of evidence are not on blanket statements or allegations that have not been substantiated. And in a clarion call to all judicial officials, the Chief Justice rallied them to undertake their mandate within the framework of the Constitution. I will continue to urge our honorable judges, judicial officers and judiciary staff to continue discharging their duties in accordance with their oaths of office and in accordance with the law. And we should do this without any fear of intimidation and without any favor. The Act. Kome also urged Kenyans to protect what she termed as hard-won gains, including the independence of the judiciary and the rule of law. All Kenyans must remain faithful to the Constitution which is our true north all the time. The wording of her statement clear and forthright, fashioned to defend the third arm of government from unqualified political statements, asserting the judiciary's role in Kenya's constitutional order. CJ Kome calling out the executive of a misrepresentation of the crucial role judicial officials play as impartial arbiters, demanding for an end to populist rhetoric threatening the fundamental aspects of the rule of law. Ayub Abdikadir, Citizen TV, at the Supreme Court of Kenya, Nairobi.